If you're looking to buy, repair, sell, update, or restore your Apple Mac, Minko's Max offers a personal, genuine service to all customers with many years of experience and specialist technicians in store. We are back with an update on the Microsoft Surface Book 2 Hackintosh video that we had done previously showing it running Big Sur. So something that's changed is now it is running Monterey. It's booting off the internal NVMe. That power management is working. The keyboard works fine. The trackpad works fine except the gestures. Um, we've got secure boot working as well. A few things that don't work are the camera, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth does not work as it, this Surface Book 2 uses the Marvel Avastar chip. And the NVIDIA graphics card as there is no acceleration in Monterey for an NVIDIA graphics card. So this laptop is using a Intel Core i7-8650U. That's a KB Lake refresh. It's not the normal KB Lake, it's the KB Lake refresh which is important for the Intel UHD 620 graphics. So if you go ahead and boot it, we see that it has full secure boot support. There is no red lock icon. We've got an Apple chime with the Apple logo as well. And now the machine's just going to boot. Now what had to be done to get the chime, the logo and secure boot Secure boot is handled by preloader and hash tool to enroll the EFI files into the machine owner key database. And that's required for secure boot. Whereas the boot chime, the logo, that's all handled by open core. All right, so as you can see, it's booted now. The keyboard backlight is working just fine. The screen brightness control is working just fine as well alongside the backlight control for the actual keyboard that's working perfectly fine all right so as you can see graphics acceleration is working with the UHD 620 and this will show 16 gigs of RAM it's running at full speed uh, the quad core i7 that's within this machine and the UHD graphics 620 mobile that has 1.5 gigabytes of VRAM so if you go ahead and take a look at the graphics section you can see that it has 1.5 now as you can see, the Bluetooth itself is not working. It's already prompting. So that's something that's not working. And that's also due to the Wi-Fi not working. Another thing that's not working currently is the sleep function, but that's easily fixable as it will go through that in the open core patching guide and that's just mainly to do with power management. So that's not much of an issue. The dedicated GPU, the GTX 1050 that you would find in this laptop's base, that has been disabled and that's done via open core as well. So yeah, everything except things like the touchscreen, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sleep mode doesn't work. But there are many good things that work here which is going to be the secure boot it's working with microsoft secure boot keyboard the basic necessities the rest of which that are not working we plan to fix those things and continue to provide videos with updates on this machine one cool feature to note though once the touch screen is working is that the screen detach function is working perfectly fine as that's hardware based. 
as you can see. And if we reattach it, keyboard comes back up, mouse control is fine. So yeah, that's all there is for this update video. The what's working, what's not working. And we will continue to post videos to provide updates on this Hackintosh setup.